This video walks you through how to secure a NiFi instance using client certificates, configure access policies in NiFi, and then how to integrate that NiFi instance with a secured NiFi registry to start using version flows. This tutorial assumes you have completed the video setting up a secure Apache NiFi registry. That tutorial resulted in a NiFi registry instance that had been secured with two client certificates for two users, sysadmin and test user. First, let's download the tarball for the 1.5.0 release. And let's get that file, which I downloaded previously. And then let's extract that tar. From the video, setting up a secure Apache NiFi registry, we use the TLS toolkit to generate the following in the target directory. And within the localhost directory, we have these three files. Let's copy these three files, keystore, nifi.properties, and trust store, to the comp directory of your NiFi installation. In the comp directory, we need to modify the authorizers.xml file in two places. In the user group provider section, we need to add sysadmin as the initial user identity. We also need to add it to the access policy provider section and again, add sysadmin. Save that. Now in a terminal window, we can go to the NiFi directory. And start NiFi. Now we can go to our web browser and navigate to the NiFi URL. And this is on port 9443 to access the NiFi UI. And you should have, in the setting up the NiFi registry instance video, you should have already added your sysadmin and test user certs to your browser. If not, you would have been prompted for that. Next, we need to set up the access policies for sysadmin. Now, as you can see, the sysadmin, as the initial admin user, can view the NiFi UI, but currently has no permissions to make any changes. So to correct this, let's go to the Access Policies button in the Operate palette, and let's add sysadmin to this policy to view the component, which is the root process group. And we also want to add a sysadmin to be able to modify the root process group. Adding sysadmin to both of those policies. And now you can see that most of the buttons are now initiated on the canvas. Next, we need to set up test user in NiFi. So let's go to the global menu, select users, and add a user. Add the DN for the test user, and test user is added. So we also want test user to be able to access the NiFi UI. So we go to policies under the global menu, and add test user to the view the user interface policy. Now we also want test user to be able to view and modify the canvas. So again, going back to the access policies for 
is the root process group. We're going to add test user to the view of the component policy and modify the component policy. So let's open a different browser, say Safari, and let's navigate to that UI for NiFi. And in this case, I'd already added the test user cert to the browser. Again, if you didn't do that, you would be prompted for that. So now you can see that test user can also access the NiFi UI. We're done with the user setup in NiFi, but now we need to go back to the browser where we're logging the sysadmin, and we need to connect this NiFi instance to the NiFi registry. Again, go to the global menu, select controller settings, select the registry clients tab, and let's add our local secure registry and the URL for it. Click add, and now we are connected. The last step needed to have NiFi and the registry work with each other is to go to the NiFi registry and add a local host user. Let's add a DN for a local host. And then we need to configure the local host settings. Specifically, we need to add read privileges to all buckets. And this is needed because NiFi itself checks the status of all the flows in NiFi to determine if they are in sync with the registry. For example, you would need to know that if you're checking whether a new version of a flow is available for upgrade. We also need to add can proxy user request privileges. These are needed because when version flow actions occur, NiFi proxies the end user over to the registry. So for example, when saving a version of the registry, it will be done as the actual user performed this action in NiFi. So we are now ready to start using NiFi and NiFi registry together. Let's close this and go back to NiFi. The sysadmin user has full access to all the buckets in the registry. So if we now add a process group, just call that PGSA. If we now try to put this process group under version control, selecting version start version control, we automatically have access to that ABC bucket that's created in the previous video. Let's save this flow. And you can see that this process group is now under version control. To show you these privileges on the registry side, you can just quickly check sysadmin and see its privileges. You can see that sysadmin has full privileges. Whereas if we go to the test user, test user only has read access to buckets in the registry. So let's close this and now we'll go to the other browser and we're here as test user in Safari and let's try to add our process group here to version control. So now this is a process group of a test user Now, if we select version control and try to start version control on this process group, there are no available buckets. However, with read access to buckets, test user can import flow. So selecting the PGSA flow, we can import that. So now you have two identical flows, PGSA on the canvas. 
with your sysadmin user having full access to the registry as well as NiFi, you can now test out for yourself and see how changes to privileges in the registry or the policies in NiFi can affect their interaction. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it.